Good morning and welcome to Madrid. Sunny Friday morning. The ultimate world has descended on Madrid for the Madrid Ultimate International Cup. Welcome to our Ulti TV broadcast. First round action, a local London derby here in Madrid. The Fire of London against Clapham Ultimate. I'm Stefan Rapazzo, joined this morning by Eric Rico Becker. Rico, how you doing? Uh, what do you know about these teams? Uh, as we get going, we're in the second point here. Obviously, ev everyone, uh, hello everybody. Uh, obviously, everyone knows Clapham uh, really well, and we didn't see fire for a long time. Uh, it's been, I think it's been like four years. They, they have a new team, maybe. I talked with uh, Price, and he said to me that they're trying to, to build a new team. And so I guess the we're going to see them work today. Let's see what we got. We're in action here. So Fire of London, we'll, we'll talk more about them. But they're on the doorstep right now. Down one nothing yeah. and squeeze one in there. Number 33 pops in the goal. Uh, and the Fire, Fire of London, that Sam Bunny Brown gets Fire of London onto the board. And uh, we're underway here. Uh, so 1-1. One, one. Clapham, probably in everybody's eyes here, would have the advantage uh, to win this one. They're current European champions, 20 times over uh, UK champs. Uh, you, you think they're going to handle them, but Fires come out and, and made it even early. Yeah. Well, what are you expecting? You think uh, they can hang with them? You think they're going to, they can, how long are they going to hang around? That's the question. Uh, I guess they, they need to come strong at the beginning and not. Uh be impressed by by Clapham, and if uh, they play the game, uh, they they have a chance to make it maybe take half. And after we're gonna, I I think see Clapham roll their 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 strong D defense and put big pressure. Put the hammer down, as they've said, uh, as yeah. they like to say, those Clapham boys. The the pole goes at the back there. It looked like uh, Fire wanted that one as a, a land and drag. Uh, th and they they are going to insist that that one didn't roll out the back. And they're going to play from the back of the end zone. So we got some Callahan country to start this point off. Mead in his own end zone. And heavy pressure. Oh, and, and off the <laughs> off the fingertips. How's that, Rico? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a big pressure, a big pull, uh, and then like uh, maybe a shaky handling uh, Shake. position, and, and they 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 drop the disc at the end zone. Hillman can't hang on to that one, and Fire have an end zone set to and take a lead. Would you look at that? A lead. Nobody was. Uh, w nobody's expecting a Fire lead in this game, and they take it early in the game. But they've got they're out in front, two one Fire London. That's good, and I, I mean we see Clapham not with regular O-line on the field. Like the O-line is stepping in now, but uh, on the last point it was not O-line actually. So maybe they are not used to taking pulls at the back of the end zone. Yeah, they letting their D-line uh, do the offensive work. We're so confident we'll let the D-line do this, and uh, ended up in the back of the end zone. Great pull. I'm really ha I, I was happy to see that Fire insisted. No, that one. <laughs> Let it in. You guys play from the back. Uh, heavy pressure, and uh, that's what we like to see. They're they're not uh, afraid of these guys. They probably play them as much as anybody, uh, and they know what to expect, and they're not afraid early. Uh, I, I don't think uh, it's going to be the end of Clapham either, but good to see a fiery start out of the Fire London. It's good to see now the reaction of Clapham. And so we do have most of their O-line. I mean, they, they got 19 guys here. Uh, 17 were with them at EUCF. Josh Briggs winds up the forehand. Nobody gives Josh Briggs forehands. Why would you do that Two there? Justin Ford gets skied, but it's by his own teammate, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't count as a skying when uh, it still st counts as a goal. Ashley Yo with the big goal there. You can trust Ashley Yo to make the big plays also. Yeah. Not always Justin Ford. It's not just always uh, Briggs to Ford show. They were both there, both over the defender, uh, and they made it look uh, pretty easy. They were the two highest guys in the sky. So.
So, tied up. Uh, I want to. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how long Fire can respond. I think we're gonna get used to Clapham scoring. Okay, easy. O points. They're gonna. They should be able to walk it in. They just. You know, one bomb on that. So the two throws, maybe did the one throw to Briggs and then the bomb, two throw offense. That's not bad. Well, like they might throw a few more than two every point, but I, I expect to see their offense easy. What'll be more interesting to see uh, if Fire can maintain their composure and and at least continue to score at least in this first half. You know, but actually, I I think it's a cho it's it's a short field, you know, and maybe like the big hugs from Briggs are gonna not being that useful with a short field and maybe there are going to be a lot of defender on the disc uh, from fire less room to get open on the on the smaller field now here goes a bomb but there is a lot of people there six players under oh bobbled macked but macked successfully that one uh, no, goes to turf please. in the end zone Midair correction and the bleached demon, as he was referred to at EUCF, Rag. He's still on the World Games roster for UK, as far as the uh, information I'm getting. A lot of these clapping players are. That one goes sideline to sideline in their own end zone. 37 cruises across to Thompson. He's in his coffin corner. Good pressure by the fire of London after the turn. But now Connor McHale, he's gone. That looks like an effective deep, uh, well put. Connor McHale gets on the sideline. And as he did in EUCF, he's been a, a key part of the, the transition attack for Clapham. He's throwing assists as a defensive player, and uh, he does it well. Yeah, yeah, and and um, uh, Modiano came down with the score. Actually, I, I thought the disc was touch. It was really slow hack. Mm. Yeah, I thought the defense had a chance there. Like uh, Modiano, he protected his space well as he was closing down, but I, I think there was a defensive play available there. I don't know if there was a touch. Maybe we'll get a replay, maybe not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it looked like yeah, it was nice and easy. Just, uh, he's got it. I'm not going to work too hard for that one. Surely it was different in his own head. So now Clapham is taking back the lead <laughs> right away. So that's the first break of the game? Uh, no, that's the third break of the game. Clapham uh, oh, yeah, the bre two uh, okay, breaks. Yes, yes. The first the point was a break from Clapham. And the, and the fire point was a break, too. The, uh, yeah. End zone pressure. So never mind my first break of the game. This is a break fest, really. We got three yeah. breaks out of five yeah. points. W where are the O line? Maybe you can ask yourself. And have you been to Madrid before, Rico? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I went there once for a uh, Masters tournament. Ah, yeah. Like three years ago. Okay. But I was not playing. Okay, just I wasn't master supporting. At that time. Yeah, I was supporting a lot of fri French friends. Okay, and they did pretty well. Mo a couple oh of the French yeah, teams yeah. won. And, um, the women. The women's won, and uh, the mix. boys came s uh, second, and the mix also came second. Yeah, okay, so a good campaign. Uh, nice city. I got about yesterday. I got uh, I got out at Seoul Subway Station. Uh, beautiful city. A lot of Lots to see, lots to do. The architecture is uh, magnificent. Uh, I agree. They got a couple nice drinks. I, I went to the Mercado San Miguel, and I had some fried octopus that I saw on an Anthony Bourdain show, and it was tip-top, so I recommend that to anyone. Rag steps in front with the D, and William Rollage picks up, looks for Connor again. He's not available. That one too far in front, and they give it straight back. Maybe too easy. Too easy under and, and lack of concentration yeah, on that throw, maybe. Just a little bit casual, wasn't it? Okay, Fire of London coming. Price with the disc. Second chance to hold, and Price gives it directly to Nathan Rag. Rag centers McHale. McHale pops it to the middle. Mead back to McHale. Now he's shot for goal. That one's in, and it counts. And Clapham get another break, and it's turning into a big old break fest here now. Yeah, and we can see Clapham are uh, really free uh, on on the on the on the curves. Th there, there's n no one who's defending close. 
did to the club and player. The club and player. We know that they're tough to defend, of course. They they move well, but also uh, the throws got to be better than that. We got there's a a couple lazy throws. Clapham themselves had a, a lazy throw in there, but when you get that disc back, you, uh, you got to be precise. You got to work hard to get a break against a team like this. And uh, that uh, David Price throw, he gave it straight back, and and they can't afford that if they want to hang around. So yeah. four two Clapham. And I think maybe Fire now needs to play less on the open side and maybe try to hit the break side because that what's that what Cla Clapham wants you to do. They they want you to play on the line and put a lot of pressure on your dumps mm. and then they they are they are strangling you and you cannot do anything if you do not hitting the break side. That's it. So we see their O line out to play some D now that they've got a couple in a row. They're gonna let the O line play. I want to watch this pull and see what they do. Uh, on the first couple throws there. They have uh, they very seldom come down in a match defense, and they tend to put a short uh, little poachy D on to take away the play, but it looks like they're in full match right here. And Fire gets a completion up the far sideline. Now they've gone deep, but that looks like that's Ollie Gordon territory if I'm a betting man. And uh, my bet was right. The Fire player went up a little bit earlier but Ollie Gordon is a little bit taller and he had a better read on that one. I don't understand that strategy. You know Clapham is, will be better than you in the air. Either you throw uh, uh, a really fast hack on the ends of the player, either you, you keep that disc. Yeah, you don't gotta- Don't throw it in the wind. It's, uh, and it wasn't like it was late in the point and they were having a tough time uh, finding options and they had to resort to Hucking, now they've gone Huck, but that's O-Mac safely enough. Just safely enough. I thought there was gonna be a second chance on that, but Obinion gets the hand up, smacks away the Huck that was intended for Hori. It's Quires now taking the disc. And Obinion gets it back on the offensive end. There he is. Moves forward. Far sideline now. Wants the dump. And now let's see if they had said, oh, that should have been a forehand. Tried to backhand it through and the blocking hand was there. Ford now to Briggs. Isn't that connection supposed to go the other way? Briggs makes a couple dance moves there to try and uh, land those red boots behind the line. I think he succeeded. Uh, Fire says he succeeded. It was got a little awkward at the end of uh, the fall down, but yeah, he did yeah. what he needed to do to make sure no more throws were necessary. He almost dropped that one <laughs> by dancing with the line. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I, I would say most coaches uh, would 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 coach against that and say, no, 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 just make the make the catch and throw again. Uh, don't take your eye off the disc. But uh, I'd say Josh Briggs is one of those guys who's in a leadership position who can. You can probably, no, 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 no. I, I got this one. I'm going to moonwalk my way in, and I know what I'm doing here. Michael uh, Jackson moves. Yes, Michael Jackson moves. Let's not talk anymore about Michael Jackson moves. But uh, what do you think of the style uh, statement going on here? Josh Briggs wearing the pink hoodie under the, the red and white pinstripes. What's going on there, Rico? I don't know, actually. Yeah. It's kind of ugly with the stripe white and the red stripes, it's, uh, I, I don't like it. Major clash, we're gonna have to give yeah. him some. Matt Thomas. And now we see the Huck. And this Huck, I understand, a great body, he's gonna call a foul. Oh, I no. thought that was pretty good body. Uh, I mean, he did have a little shove. Let's see if we're gonna get a replay of this one. Uh, there was, yeah. Uh, in my uh, initial watching that live, I thought he did a pre pretty good job of holding his space. Like, th there was contact, but uh, I, I don't think he, like, backed into him. M me too, me too. So I, I think it's, it's just like Clapham plays always uh, great physicality. Why call the fall on that one? He's just protecting his disc. That's my perspective. Yeah, uh, I think I agree. They're sending it back. Uh, so not sure, we, we may not get a second look at that one. But I, I understand the Huck this time. They had about six passes in their own end zone. The pressure was heavy. 
there was a little bit of space. That huck I liked. That wasn't an emergency huck. It wasn't uh, oh my, we're like, okay, we got pressure. Let's develop a little cut, and, and they're taking what was available. So I like to see that huck compared to two or three points ago when they were just like hucking on second throws uh, with no option. So 96 now with the disc. Fire. With all. Gets it. Fret takes his time as a high stall count, but gets the pass off. They're just about in the scoring zone. They are, and it went right through his hands. He forgot to wipe the egg yolks off from this morning breakfast, and that one slipped through. Connor McHale winds up, sends deep. His man is way in front, and that is a perfectly placed disc into the back of the end zone. Uh, that is a disc that the receiver is going to be very happy to see. He had the separation, and Connor put it exactly where he needed. He didn't really change his speed, didn't have to speed up, just maintained. Nice hike. Really nice hike. And that was, so was that Will Withall? Was that the 96 jersey? Sorry, I'm, uh, that was not Will Withall. He clap him, fellas, coming off the handler marks to stay in the lane. And it's pretty effective. They're going only east-west here, sideline to sideline. George Hudson keeps getting it back with few options. Oh, he sneaks one through the middle, and now they've got some room. Will Rollage wisely gets back deep quickly in the zone, can reset, and that's just what they don't need. Uh, easy mistakes like that are just killing any potential for momentum here. And here comes Clapham Time for the disc. A, another break. Will Rollage. And so if all goes well, uh, we're going to have some second language commentary. I believe it's already started. We've got some Spanish commentary. But uh, we're going to have a couple French games. And if all goes well, tomorrow morning's games. Eric uh, Becker will be back, mais en français, with, uh, oui, with François Zubir yeah. to cover the game in the second time slot. Uh, we'll have a little bit more about that action, but excited to get some, uh, some multilingual commentary here. We get to have, uh, in the European setting, it's great to have uh, Rico. We had uh, Chopo last time coming in and... and Happy to do the commentary in English, but even better to have a separate channel and get it in their native languages as well. So all at home can listen in multiple languages. Rollage, faking hammer, goes straight ahead, and that one looked easy in the end. A nice, easy throw to finish off that play. And that is Will Rollage to Oscar Modiano and Clapham just smashing with an 8-2 lead as a couple of the Isno boys showing up on the sideline uh, to, to see what's going on here, taking the action. Surely scouting Clapham to, to uh, you know, prepare mentally for later in the, for later in the tournament with our plan, plans to see them for sure because you want to be playing the last game of the tournament. And of course. I'm sure they're planning on being in that game. Uh, so it's a 7-0 for Clapham. 7-0 run. Yeah. Uh, to take halftime. To take halftime. So speaking of halftime, this tournament, there is no timed half. There is no timed half. It is only half at eight points. So if it's a defensive game and the wind is up and nobody's scoring, doesn't matter. You can go, you can finish a whole game and not have a halftime potentially. Otherwise, we got one timeout per half. 75 seconds, and uh, otherwise regular rules. So we're going to take a quick break as well. It's halftime for us. It's halftime for them. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back.
So it's so great to see all the teams uh, rolling in here in Madrid. Everybody's very excited. It's uh, these post-COVID tournaments. It's the first like non-official. It's not not a federation tournament. So it's not a party tournament, but it's got the it's uh, got a lightness about it. Everybody's pretty excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. This is the perfect mix. Like a little bit of party, a little bit of good playing, and there's not a much pressure because we are so early in the next season. Yeah. So I'm sure it's going to be a nice tournament it's for every player. That's it. It's it. It is still elite. Like like we talked about the top, the upper end of these brackets are it's elite to ultimate. It's great. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you know Justin Ford, we asked him what he did last night and. He gave us a number count on the the libations that he consumed last night, uh, and uh, I said when we balance that out against his age, the 35 year old man, if we minus the amount of drinks, uh, or we probably add the amount of drinks to yeah. 35, that means he should be playing like a 48 year old today. So, do the math yourself at home. But uh, Clapham are are enjoying their ease into this tournament. Here we go, second half action, clap them all over. Briggs, what is it? Did Josh Briggs throw a backhand? What's going on here? And and he gets bailed out, thankfully. The first backhand of his life, I think, that's ever gone more than 10 meters. Josh Briggs gets, uh, gets on and gets his percentage high, actually throwing backhand hucks. Yeah, it was a good backhand. <laughs> it was good. We can, we can, we can say that. And it was pretty good backhand. And, and I guess he's got to have a backhand now because for the last year and a half, okay, so it's been COVID. He hasn't had that much opposition. But ever since Bologna knocked him off and everybody watched like, oh, they took away his, his forehand. That's all you got to do. Well, okay, it's not that easy, I guess. But no. o otherwise, even people taking it away, well, he's had a lot of practice throwing the backhand now too. And uh, I don't know if it's a sound tactic anymore because I mean, he just showed you he can throw that one too. But I, gu I guess – his backhand is still a little bit slower than his forehand. Yeah. His, his forehand is a, a pretty lethal weapon. His, yeah. He's got great hand. It's got to be great hand grip because he winds it up very quickly, and his distance, he can go tape to tape. He can go end zone to end zone uh, with not much. It looks it, – it's a very easy-looking release out of him. It, it's hmm. uh, He can do it at any pivot point, any balance, and just sends out lasers. So we're going to see now in the second half if uh, fire is going to – let the game go or they want to fight for it because they have a, this big roster so if they spend like 30 seconds on the field like they're gonna take they didn't they don't gonna take much experience of that game so That's i hope it. they fight for it they, they got it and you got to use this is the point of a, a game and a tournament first game you're already down use the whole roster get everybody running now give everybody a chance to run their butt off for you know hopefully more than 30 seconds at a time but even if it's that Get out there, everybody go, extend these extend these points, extend this game. But we see some similar faces on their O-line. Their O-line is going to be playing, has been and will play a lot here, the fire unit. And Fen dumps to DP. DP hasn't thrown a hammer yet. We should probably see one of those out of him soon. Clap, I'm working on the zone. It's, it's a good choice, I, I mean, because the, the field are, are narrow also, so. It, it's it's uh, easy to take a lot of space on the field with a zone. Yeah, and it, it looks like a, a zone transition. They've just melted into a match defense now. But they continue to throw completions. Oh, Hudson gets that one upfield. And a layout attempt by Luke Frett hits the ground. We're back to Clapham. Another break available. Ooh, Connor fakes the backhand. We know he's got that backhand as well. That one centered with a little bit of a dump to Eels. Now gets him upfield to Webster. Eels again. Eels far sideline in the attacking half. We've got a call on the play. Maybe a bump on the mark. Doesn't like DP's breath. Maybe he didn't like what he had for breakfast. <laughs> Foul, no contest. You got to stop the under. Stop the under. It's too easy for Clavon now. And there's the crossfield hammer. That was, as you said, Rico, just too easy. Uh, rollage to Modiano. And the break points are coming just way too easily. The, the Clapham 
defensive O, their D-line playing O, is very, very good. They are efficient. Connor McHale is the backbone of it. He's the probably the, the guy who, who keeps it going. He can play upfield or behind the disc, but they really are they, – they play uh, – yeah, a very efficient transition. Uh, as soon oh. as they they make the disc move and they they do like four or five passes, you know you're not gonna see the disc mm. anymore Beca yeah. because they are in in the flow. They keep the flow on and and this has got to go. Yeah, a and you say and you were saying where the 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 ins were so so available. But how do you stop that? You got guys like Will Rollage, you got the, you know, Mikhail, you got big, fast receivers, Nathan Rag. You don't want to get, like, if you let them, if you take away their unders, those guys are going to go deep and score on you pretty. But they already got a height advantage. I uh, the, the, they're, it's a, it's a, you really got to start boxing these guys, working yeah. together, poachy D's. Uh, it's the only way uh, to slow them down. On the field, I rather like D line of Clapham. Yeah. Ox. Yeah. yeah. If they, you force them to throw early ox. Maybe they they don't throw adjusted ox, and we see a lot of turnover uh, on the last years uh, on that kind of play. Yeah. So Briggs on defense with his pink pink jersey. Haircut, the pink hood. Seems to be a zone or poachy defense. Yeah, it is. It looks like a standard cup zone. They got three at the front working together. Maybe not quite a cup, but they do have a three-man front there, and it seems to be effective so far. We're on to about our fourth pass in the Fire of London end zone. Uh, they've just got out of the end zone now. And they make the disc move. But they're stuck on that sideline. They're throwing two-meter passes. There we go. A little bit of space. Squires. And that one flubbed away. Briggs quick to Gordon. Wanted it back. Got it back. Now he's on the goal line. Then goes for the dump. Wisely, Justin Ford. And a nice looking throw, good vision there. Got the crossing cut. Justin Ford completes to it, number twenty. It's funny because their zone are not putting Ash a yo. lot of pressure on the on the uh, the O line of uh, a fire, but it's just precise enough to prevent throw that make the difference. And throw after throw, the 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 offense of uh, a fire. Is dropping a disc of or uh, doing a, the wrong pass? They're, they're just it's shame. they're making them throw just enough that they make their own mistakes. You're right. The pressure is like it's not heavy pressure on the mark. They get they're really playing in the lanes. They're standing in the lanes. They're standing in the way, and they got they got good pressure downfield. They're taking away the downfield options, and the three up front are just uh, taking away the throwing lanes. But you're absolutely right. The the pressure on the disc. They're not running their butts off to try and to get these marks on. They're just slowly moving, staying in the lane, getting in the way, and, and they're, uh, letting fire make their own mistakes and, and fire helping them out a bit by making uh, making a few mistakes. So, Rico, 2-1 lead. Fire of London. What happened to that? I don't know. Ten in a row. Yeah, yeah. It was maybe only the 13 drinks of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, oh, Ford. Justin Ford. <laughs> that was th that was the first three points of the game, yeah. and then he sweat them out, and now they're they're back to normal. The Clapham we know. He looked like it's looking like a zone again. Number 90 gets it going. Here come Fire London through the middle. We got guys calling for the disc all over the place, but fret, don't you fret. Take your time. There's a high stall count. Now he frets, but he gets it moved. Now upfield for goal. Could it count? No chance that time. Way too far in front out of the hand of George Hudson 
and into the turf in the back of the end zone. Miscommunication on those two players. And I think they don't want the disc anymore. They just want to finish the point as soon as possible. <laughs> but that's not how it works against Clapham. You need yeah. to be patient and need to work for every, every goal. If you get into a mentality of wanting to finish the point as quick as possible, it's probably going to be Clapham who finish it for you. Yeah. Uh, that one up and over, but Clapham's getting the lucky bounces as well. That one lands safely in Thompson's hand before it goes up line to Eels. He's in a power position there, but slows it down. That's one of those calls in past rules that would have been a travel, but now that sound looks to me like the legal way of playing that. Thompson again winds up the flick. Oh, popped up and scooped away. There's the D. That's what they're looking for. That, those are the bounces they need if they're going to have any chance of uh, ending this run even. Never mind getting back in the game, just like stop this 10 nothing run. And uh, it's a timeout. I think this is the first point that lasting more than one minute. Yeah, I'd say too. They, 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 this is, they've got to be proud of themselves. They're, there's been a double turn. They've got it back. They've avoided the immediate break. Uh, and they get a, another chance to score a goal, and this time they get to do it a little closer, a little bit closer. They're a almost in the attacking closer, half. Yeah. Uh, and what do you do? You know much about the women's division here besides uh, besides Yaka, of course. Uh, we'll talk about the women's division in just a bit. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. So, women's division, uh, we know a couple teams anyways. I think I got them all, my homework done. What are, what are the two, or the, who are the teams that, that you know of in the women's I, division here? I know Iceny, but actually I, I uh, didn't see Iceny in the Euros. I don't know uh, why they didn't come. And, uh, and it's been a long time since I, I've seen Iceny, so I'm really looking forward to... It has been a while. They weren't at Kaorle in 2019. The year before that, Rokla, they were in the final. Yeah. So, and then the year before that, they were the champions. So champions, finalists, and then now it's, it's like three years. They've been gone. Pfft, like a cloud of smoke, they're gone. And so nice to see them back. Maybe they try to build something new, a new team. I hear that there were a lot of uh, moving in the coaching area. Okay. Uh, because I know a few players from, uh, from Iceni, so... It's going to be interesting to see them play, and hopefully uh, I'm going to competitate the, their game in French. Well, that, would, that would be great. That's the one we'll have. Uh, remember, Rico Becker, Francois Zubir, two of my favorites, two of the great captains of Is No Good, bringing you that action live in their mother tongue, Le Français. Is it La Français or Le Français? Le Français. Ouais, c'est masculin, Le Français. But now, back to the London derby here in Madrid. Against the zone for Clapham. Oh, the no-look throw. That was nice. Yeah, nice looking throw to get things going. David Clegg on the receiving end of that one. Another no-look throw. Houghton looks deep. Look at these no-look. That was what they talked about at, at timeout for sure. Only no-looks this point, guys. This, this is too easy, these Clapham guys. So if you're going to throw something, make sure you don't look at them. Well, now they're looking. Houghton, though, he's going to go another no look. No, but McHale's inching in. Effective zone. I really like the defense Clapham showing here. Even though they, they're now they're still in a full zone, you see the spacing upfield, the wings moving well, bouncing from one player to the next. And then Houghton bombs the hammer right in front of our cameras. Fenn handles that one, moves it on. Fenn again on the sideline, dumps back. Fret. To Houghton, those two working well together. Good looking possession so far after the timeout. A couple of no look passes and they're stringing them together. The Clapham defense staying strong, nothing easy here, but they look a little bit calm now. They look good with disc in hand right now. They, 
they maybe need to make the disc move a little bit faster because the the first uh, the three first player of Clapham on the zone are not y using that much of energy because they're the disc is moving so slow. They're very relaxed. They, you're right. The same throws they're taking maybe take them a bit quicker because they're they're still not finding anything upfield. But until just then, so maybe go sideline to sideline just a bit quicker. Make the tire these guys out a bit more. Open up a few bigger gaps to throw through, to look through. Fred again. So into an end zone set here, about 20 meters out. This is where they're going to stay patient. They got, they, it looked like they're going to move it straight away. Winds up the hammer, wisely doesn't take it. The defense saw that hammer just as much as his own receiver. And there's a nice throw. That opens some space. Shot for goal. They are back on the board. It oh. is a 10. Uh, he's just injured himself on the catch. Goodness gracious. Oh, I, I hope he's good. Uh, I think it's the ankle, but Matt, I hope it's good. Matt Thomas makes a heck of a play. Ends a 10-1 run, but uh, goes down in the process. Uh, a tough one from the player nicknamed Spoon. Tough tr price to pay for just one goal. Exactly, but uh, he did his job. He did. I mean, that's what we're here for, not to injure ourselves, but to make those plays, to put your body on the line sometimes, and he did it. He made a play for his team. His team's going to be stoked about that, but uh, let's let's see. We see him. He, he is limping, but he's walking on his own weight there, so it's, uh, it's not a horrible injury. That's yeah, good yeah. news. When you can walk afterwards... It's yes. a good sign. Yes, yes, You can exactly. trust me on that. Yes, yeah, so you can trust me too. We don't need to count injuries here because uh, I, I could talk to you all day long about them. Uh, you have you have an injured body? Oh, I'm, I'm very, very broken. I've been on crutches because of Ultimate 12 times. Oh. Uh, broken foot, broken kneecap, ACL surgery on my right, uh, sprained ankle, right side three times, sprained ankle, left side four times, and then I had a hip displacement. My, my lower body has been very, very banged up uh, because of Ultimate. That's good money for the doctor, <laughs> right? Oh, God, yeah. You're getting into the right career, Rico. <laughs> so this one. Nice to see London in defending again. Yes, look at this. The Clapham O-line actually has to receive a pull. and But how does this see? Now I'm going to gripe. They work so hard, they get that point, and then they put that kind of a pull up. I want to see pulls better. If it's going to float like that, land it in bounds. Hori confused, looking for the brick mark. The Bochi defense or zone defense? Yeah, they're giving them a taste of their own medicine. It's almost the exact same thing. Nah, now they've gone to... They've switched back to match, haven't they? Wow, well, now they're in all sorts. A little bit of upfield action. Justin Ford looks up the line, squeaks it up the line. Yo. And you can see the difference between Clapham and Fire. They just make the disc move. Two seconds and then try to throw it. Yeah, if there's something open, they take it. Like, there's no waiting for better options. There's no, uh, I'm not sure about that. Boom, it's there. He takes it. Nice pop pass. From Hori to Long Briggs in that pink hoodie that just clashes horribly with his uniform, but he still throws completions. Long. Mead. And eh, the fire defense working hard here, keeping uh, making them be honest for their goals. Justin Ford leans forward, didn't have to lay out. Bounces it off the sideline the other way. Hori, that one was dangerous. There could have been a play. But Hori, the nomadic tribe superstar, has a chance. And he resets. Long comes back. About seven meters out. And you get the hand block. And look at that. Fire is working for these points, not giving the game away. And and maybe the Clapham offense is not in shape for, for doing a low point like that because they didn't run. It's they been 45 minutes that they didn't roll at all, so maybe it's hard for them to... Their their heart rates have stayed too low for this game. Now they finally got to work, and they just can't find the gear. We're blaming that one on last night from our seats. Uh, but Fire of London, let's see if they can make them pay. This would be the first break since the first point of the game, that one that went to end zone, and that is not going to help. As usual, you say it, and... 
the Tony. The curse of the commentator and Justin Ford walks an easy one to ask yo. Blah, blah, blah. Clap them 12 3. <laughs> making it look easy. Making it look easy. Come on, fire. We thought you gave us a little bit of fire there. It was looking good. Great defensive pressure. Uh, but they were tired too. They yeah. gave it back there. They're. He was looking for that around, uh, waiting for a handler cut, and the handler got out of the space, abandoned uh, abandoned him, and that really, really easy on the second turnover. It was good, though, to make them work, to make Clapham work for, for their offense. So we'll see it again. Uh, we got Pierre-Louis Combré, who says, uh, bon, le, bon, le bonjour, Rico et Stefano. Uh, uh, how are hello, you, Pilou? We miss you. We wish you were here to... Uh, be joining the Isno boys. Uh, welcome back to the Isno family. We're very happy to have you. And uh, he, of course, staying home. He's also in the World Games selection final 12. Yeah. Uh, and just uh, he's, he's not badly injured, but injured enough that he he, needs, he, he had an he injury. What, what was his injury last uh, weekend? He, he, uh, his uh, armstrings. Hamstrings. Was, so were pulled a little bit on okay. the last uh, World Game selection. So he, need, he needed the rest. So mm. pulled a little bit, I would say tweaked. He's tweaked his hamstring. And uh, yeah, no point in coming and running when he's got uh, a few priorities, uh, of course, World Game selection, top of his priority list, uh, and then even the rest of the Isno campaign, being ready for that. Uh, heal your injuries. Here comes Fire. Houghton. Gets it again. Playing in their own end zone, Houghton. Houghton has been taking the yeoman's load of the touches for this Fire outfit. Uh, doing a great job despite being down by so many. They're playing Clapham. It's a difficult place to be, uh, but he has been throwing uh, more completions than not and uh, working hard, working proud for his team. Kalovsky went back to Houghton. Another no look at a Houghton. Love those throws. I'll get excited every time he throws one of them. Bell back across Houghton. Look, every second, third touch, Houghton, and he's faking the no looks even. Uh, that one did not have, and then he gives it. That's that is well played. He fakes what would, could maybe be a no look option, and then gives the same no look option. Uh, great play by Hout, er, yeah, by Houghton. He's doing it all. No look scuba. That's good. It, it's beautiful a and fake no look scuba, and then no look scuba. Uh, wonderful distribution. But they still need to make the disc move faster. Yeah, they're getting pretty. If they want to 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 break that oh that 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 zone defense. Getting pretty static. The hammer worked last time. It's there to David Price. The crossfield hammer is there. Uh, it's wide open, but it's still there's enough risk in it. Okay, now they've gone to David Price without having to use the hammer. A few throw later, he directs traffic. Houghton again. Nearing half, working hard. Dump back, 29. So what is your bet on this outcome of uh, this point? This point? Uh, it depends on that pass. If that pass is connected, they're going to score this goal. They're going to score this goal, Rico. That's what's going to happen. Brown, you've heard it here first. It's going to be 4-12 for the Fire London after David Price connects there, moves it on to Bell. Price again wants the hammer, thinking hammer. Must be thinking hammer, but not thinking hammer. And uh, Houghton gets his uh, wheels tangled up there with his defender. Clacked some ankles, those hurt. They're, they're, they're getting the, the ankle clacks, they're never nice. Uh, legitimate for him to, to stop that one and reset. So they are trapped on the sideline now, so it's going to be interesting to see how they come out of that line. He was abandoned. He was stranded. He's gone to the big man, but Connor McHale, much better read, comes from the backside and takes it away. And so my bet is not looking good right now. No. But it's not over yet. Oh, Connor. I thought Connor McHale was going to catch his own throw, but Rolich goes to him. He's got all sorts of space. Price, no time to catch up. McHale all day. And uh, my bet is very much wrong, Rico. Yeah, it, it must be so frustrating for Fire 
because they're just like doing uh, passes for one minute or two minutes and then lost the disc and then in, in 20 seconds like the score is on the other way exactly like i mean okay there was two or three throws to set it up but it was two two throws one half to get to half boom another and there was you're right it's got to be frustrating uh they deserved that one i got excited i'm trying to give them my momentum uh that that Credit to the Clapham zone. It's good. It's a bend, don't break kind of zone. They give you a little bit of space. They let you, they let you get close to that end zone. But the, you know, as the field shrinks, the pressure gets tighter, and uh, and they did not break. They did not uh, let them score. And ah, once you're on the sideline, they close the dump, and you're finished. Yeah, uh, David Price. Uh, had no option to, no and he threw it into that end zone like uh, at his, his his uh, at nine, and his, his dump abandoned him. His dump went up line. There was no one in the center of the field. It was either at least he went to the far side where there was a flow to chance. Otherwise, he would have gone direct into traffic, and uh, that's probably not going to work either. So the O line now of Clapham on the field for making defense zone again, maybe. Yeah, it seems so. It looks like it. This one looks a little bit like a one-three-two-one. We've seen a puppy fence in Australia. They used to call it the pommy because it comes from the palms, the English. Uh, and it does look very, very much like that zone. Uh, Justin Ford all alone in the back, but now there's two deep defenders, and Fire continue to play in their end zone. So effective thus far, and Hori. Steps right through, right to Briggs. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, how easy was that? Yeah, Briggs didn't move. Yeah, like <laughs> just staying in place and just catch yeah. the disc. I'm, I'm on the mark. I'm catching a goal. There was like one second difference. I was marking, and then I'm catching a goal. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to see. Yeah, it, it makes it look very, very easy. Give us a, a bit of spectacle. Exactly. So. One point away, Clapham on a break point game point. Uh, they're making quick work of this. What time? Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's been. Uh, it, it's uh, almost uh, eleven. So, so it's it's been less than an hour. Less than if an they hour, can, yeah. fi they're gonna finish them off and close to an hour. That's quick work. If they get this last point, uh, the games today are eighty-five minutes, and tomorrow and Sunday ninety minutes. Uh, so if they finish in 60 minutes, uh, that's, you know, there'll be about a 45-minute break until our next game starts, if my math is correct. Uh, we got 20 minutes in between games, but more often than not, these 20-minute uh, uh, gaps will be shorter. There'll be a lot of games that will have time extended. Uh, this one, uh, the London Derby. Clapham just making short work of them. And so, first game for Is No Good. Who do you guys got first, Rico? Uprising. And what, do you know anything about them? Uh, it's the champion of Poland. Okay. But they didn't came at uh, Euros. Okay. I don't know why. I think they play mixed, maybe, also. So maybe some of the flow guys. Are they from, uh, I, don't I don't know if they're from Warsaw or Rokla. I'll have to uh, look into that before don't that know. game starts. I know. I checked their last uh, seating. It was in 2018. And they finished last. Okay. Of Euros. Okay. So, uh, but a team never to take lightly. A never. Yeah. Those are the teams you can't. It's assume been four anything. years. Exactly. So. Anything could have happened. I'll be covering that game with Kathy Meisel. I'll be excited to see my boys from Noisy le Sec. It's Paris. It's just outside of Paris, but it is uh, Noisy le Sec. They're very proud of their home on the east side of Paris. Maybe you're going to hear the song of Noisy Le Sec. It's my favorite. But before I go to bed sometimes. That's it. And there we go. It's given away. Gratuitous layout by Houghton. He's done everything. Why not a gratuitous layout? Thompson steps in front and then continues that moving that disc. Uh, rollage. I was just giving... Uh, 50 cents nice. from a player of London. I don't know for what. A, a why tip for your it? wonderful commentary. You've been you're making tips, and that is game over. The Clapham outfit makes short work of fire. Fire came out looking good. They they had some fight. They had a bit of fight in them, but uh, Clapham is a juggernaut. They are. If you're not perfect, 
they're going to roll you. If you are perfect, they're probably still going to beat you, but you can at least make it close. And and in this case, uh, they got rolled. Yeah, uh, I, I think they're, they're going to improve. Fire is going to improve. It's a tough game to tough first game to play against Clapham. On your first game of a tournament, it's always hard because you know you you cannot put something in place because they are so stronger than you. So, and so I, I'm sure they're gonna m do better in the second game. We know that feeling. We played Clapham first at EUCF, and uh, they had their way with us, and uh, we got better uh, because of it. It is nice to get these uh, these games against tough opponents out of the way early. If you have to have it in a in a pool match, boom, it's done. Wake up call, smack smack. Okay, next game. Uh, here we go. So uh, that is that. Clap them with the victory. Thank you all at home for joining us. Uh, thank you, Rico, for taking some time out and joining us. It's been great to have you here on Alti TV. Thank you, Steph. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time, and we're excited uh, to have yeah. it in French tomorrow yeah. with uh, with Francois. Uh, and otherwise, I've been Stefan Rafazzo. Thank you for joining Alti.tv, and we will catch you at the very next game. Don't go anywhere. Bye-bye. Multi.tv.